In this video, I'll show you how to generate an SSH key pair using the SSH key gen command and upload the resulting public key to your account on your VPS provider. The SSH keygen command is available on Linux and Mac OS systems. On Windows, you will need to use a program like PuttyGen. I will include links in the notes below. When the SSH keygen command is run using the default options, it generates two files. The first is ID underscore RSA. This is the private key. And as the name indicates, you should not be sharing it with anyone else. Now the second file is called id underscore rsa.pub. This is the public key. This is the file you will need to copy to your VPS provider, whether it is DigitalOcean, Linode, or some other, or for services like GitHub or GitLab. I will use DigitalOcean as an example in this video. Let's get started. Open a terminal and type in ssh-keygen command and then press enter. You will be prompted for a file name. If you have never run this command before, simply press enter to accept the default. Otherwise, you will need to provide a different file name. Type in a strong passphrase. Type it again and then press enter. When complete, files will be saved in the .ssh directory in your home directory. Let me do a listing of files in my .ssh directory. As you can see, uh, there are two files, ID RSA, which is the private key, and uh, ID RSA.pub, which is the public key. To copy the public key, you can use the cat command to display its contents. Copy the entire text to your clipboard. Log in to your account on DigitalOcean, and then navigate to the settings section under account. Click on the security tab. And if you scroll down to the SSH key section, you will see a button on the right called as add SSH key. Click on it. Paste the contents of your clipboard in the text field. Give it a name and then click the Add SSH Key button. You should see a message, SSH Key created successfully. And the key will also be listed under the SSH Keys section. Okay, now how do we use this? In the next step, I will show you how to create a VPS, a virtual private server or droplet as it is called on DigitalOcean. During that process, there will be an option to select an SSH key. And at that stage, you can select the key that was created in this step. 